If it wasn't coming, we wouldn't have to prepare for the weapon. However, I repeat, no COVID, no cancer, no sickness, no disease, no suicide, no depression, no loss of a loved one, no anxiety, no drug addiction, no alcoholism, no molestation. I ain't done. I ain't done. No history. None of what our ancestors went through. No weapon can stop you from becoming all that God has called you to be. No weapon. No man. No woman. No child. No law. No weapon. Because you will rise up in the name of Jesus. Because life and death. Talk that talk. It's in the power of your tongue. So when you speak life, life got to show up. Because he went to the grave. Ah! Hallelujah. For three days. This day forth, my children will reign again. The keys of life, I'ma need that. Walk down on me, Jesus. I'ma need that. Everything you thought you won, you lost. I'ma need that. And I'ma restore seven times of what you thought you stole from my children. I'ma need that. And so now they can walk boldly on this earth and say no weapon. Because the battle is already won. No weapon. Cause I'm the way maker that made a way when it wasn't a way and I'm still looking to make a way. You just gotta call on me. Big dog, you just gotta call on me. It's for what well, God got for you, you gonna get it. Now you might can prolong it. Trying to orchestrate and control the situation and the narrative on your own. But I feel as if what's destined for me, the creator gonna give it to me. But rejection may be a part of that. When Jesus was 12 years old, they took him to the convocation. <laughs> and you know, you, when you travel back then, it's not cars. They, they saddled their horses and camels a certain way, so they knew how to travel. They've been going to the convocation for 12 years. This time they left without Jesus. They didn't realize Jesus was with them because they were accustomed to how they moved. May we never be so familiar with how we move, that we don't realize we're moving without Jesus. I love y'all, be blessed. I speak in tongues in the Holy Ghost. I, my spirit cries, Elohim Adonai. Ooh. I speak in tongues and the Holy Ghost, my spirit cries, Elohim Adonai. I speak in tongues in the Isaiah 40, verses 31, reads this way. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They should run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. The title 
that I would have to give would be mount up like an eagle. Yeah. It's time to mount up like an eagle. Mount means to take a position, to take a stance, to take a trajectory, to position, to align. Yeah. Eagles, when they are faced with opposition, when they get a predator, that gets on the back of their neck. They have to fly high. And as they are flying high, they fly so high to cut off the circulation. I don't know what you may be facing with. I don't know what type of uh, ailment. I don't know what type of uh, association. I don't know what may be after you. I don't know what type of toxicity that you may have encountered. But if you mount up like an eagle, if you mount up with prayer, if you mount up with praise, if you mount up with worship, if you mount up with fasting, if you mount up with taking a leap of faith, if you mount up with reading the word of God, if you mount up with consecrating yourself, if you mount up with decreeing and declaring the word of God, if you mount up with distrust, if you mount up with getting into the presence of God, if you mount up that you just trust God, if you mount up if you believe, you shall receive. If you mount up with not just sitting on the sidelines. If you mount up with not just being a hearer of the word of God. But being a doer of the word of God. If you mount up your faith. If you mount up. By staying anchored in God. If you mount up by decreeing and declaring the word of God. If you mount up. If you mount up to try God. If you mount up to speak the word of God. If you mount up. To believe the word of God. You shall not faint. If you mount up. If you mount. Come on. You got to mount up. When you mount up. You are focusing. You, you begin to put yourself into a position. That nothing, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The weapons might form, but it won't prosper if you are anchored. The weapon, the weapon, the weapon, the weapon that might try to come into your, your, your hearing, the weapon that might try to come into your heart to sow seeds of discord. The weapon of discouragement. The weapon. The weapons. If you begin to put on the garment of praise. 
to break the spirit of heaviness. If you begin to just step out there into the presence of God, if you begin to walk by faith and not by sight, if you begin to mount, yeah, I, 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 I'm being repetitive because this is the season where we must soar high. We must soar high above any demon, any principality, any prince of the air. This is the season to plead the blood of Jesus up against every foul demonic spirit. No weapon. You begin to declare. You begin to speak. You begin to prophesy. You begin to rebuke. You begin to declare the promises of God. You begin to stand. You begin to just get into God's spirit, the unchanging hand. I don't know who I am speaking to, but this is the season to leap. This is the season to mount up like an eagle. This is the season that you must be bold. This is the season that you must be strong. This is the season that you cannot back down. This is the season where you get in the boxing ring. This is the season where you begin to box that enemy with the word of God. This is the season that you begin to speak what thus said the Lord. This is the season that you begin to triumph that Jericho. This is the season that you begin to speak, that you begin to believe, that you begin to test. Yes, I know I'm being repetitive because this is not a just a one-time thing. This is a continual thing. This is a thing that you must take serious. This is a thing that you cannot quit. This is not a thing that you play around with. This means war. You got to decree war on the devil. You got to decree and declare, I will live and not die. You got to begin to rebuke the devil. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. My son will live. My daughter will live. I am the conqueror. I am the victorian. I am the revivalist. I am. I am the overcomer. I am the victorian. I am the champion. I will be what God said he has called me to be. I rebuke and bind the devil in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I bind the, the spirit of all infirmity right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the devil. I bind. This is the season that you must be bold. You must be strong. You must not bring towels to, 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 to quit. But you must bring the word of God. You must believe. You must soar. Soar. It's soaring time. It's praising time. It's prayer time. It's fasting time. It's consecration time. It's revival time. It's restoration time. It's breakthrough time. It's healing time. It's believing time. It's trying time. It's leaping time. It's soaring. Is there anyone out there that is ready to soar? That is ready to soar high like an eagle. That is ready to, to, to stand the enemy in the face and just believe and try God. For this is the season of soaring. We're going to soar through every trial, we're going to soar. We're going to soar. Come on, just get that in your spirit. I am soaring 
I am soaring. I am soaring. I'm going to soar through this trial and tribulation. I'm going to soar through this next season. 2023, I'm going to soar. I'm going to soar in the transition of 2024. I'm going to soar. I'm going to leap. I'm going to believe. I'm going to try. I'm going to trust. Father God, I give you glory. I give you praise. I give you honor. God, I speak to every person under the sound of my voice that may be struggling financially. I decree and declare breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare opportunity in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and bind any spirit of sickness right now in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare peace will be in the streets. I decree and declare wisdom will be upon every governmental leadership right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that we will have men and women of God that will soar, that will move with kingdom boldness right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that this will be a season of soul winning. I decree and declare strength upon every senior citizen, strength upon every unhoused person right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to every staff member that may be working in every nursing home right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare it is done. I seal this prayer in the matchless name of Christ our Lord and Savior. Remember everyone, this is the season to soar. All we gotta do is soar. All we gotta do is just trust God at his word and God, we give you glory, we give you praise. It is in Jesus' magnificent name I say amen and amen. Peace and blessings. Tell your story so they can appreciate your glory. Michael Jordan ain't got more rings than Robert Ory. Everybody's path is different, we all got a story. I never fit into nobody's box or category. When I do me to the fullest, the people can't ignore me. I soak up game from real ones that came before me. I'm not for everybody, and everyone ain't for me. But those who really get to see my heart, they adore.